Are you tired of being hard stuck? Well, look no further because Glacier Academy is here. Where basically, I'm going to teach you guys how to get to your desired elo. We're going to do live games. We're going to do strategize. And we're going to look at your OP.GG. And we're going to dive into some of the games that you guys thought you should have won, but um, you ended up losing. So, fellas, we got limited spots available. And here's a couple words from some satisfied customers. The Glacier is um, the, the best coach. Please let my family go. The Glacier is one of the best coaches I've ever had to experience because he just treat me so right now while the glacier might not be the best high evo player he does have the knowledge required to coach a player to get the diamond for the first time so if you're starting your journey to becoming a great player he's a great place to start so what are you waiting for book right now in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to get challenger with garen in just one video i'm basically going to play eight games in total and essentially the reason why it's challenger and not diamond is because i have studied every single high elo master to your grandmaster challenger garen in the entire world and i'm doing exactly what they do in this video so basically if you watch this entire video you're going to have all the knowledge and all the know-how to get to the highest elo that you are capable of okay so without further ado let's jump right into the runes all right fellas for this season and currently up to date there are only two play styles for garen that i have seen there is a third one one guy that's in master tier goes predator but honestly the highest win rates it's just these two so Let's start off with the most notable one, which is going to be Conqueror, okay? Pretty much almost every single melee matchup that you're going to go into, besides like maybe Trindamir and a few other matchups, um, you're going to go Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand. This left side is never going to change. And then against any champion in the game that wants to all in you, like pre-level six, where they actually want to do more than one spell of poke, then you're going to go Bone Plating. So this is for people like Set, Riven, Darius, those guys that want to murder you when they get a hold of you, right? Otherwise, you're just going to go second win, so you can constantly be going for little tiny trades, and you can just outheal your opponents against people like Fiora or Camille. Um, then you're going to go unflinching. I don't see a reason to ever run overgrowth. I just love having that extra tenacity and slow resistance. And then obviously double adaptive force and armor. Again, if you are not going against the hardcore difficult matchups, consider taking this extra HP instead where you don't really need that early armor, but it's up to you. All right, now, guys, the bread and butter page. This, I'll tell you right now, if you're not running Phase Rush on Garen this season, you are acting goofy. Because I'm telling you right now, this is a game changer, okay? Not only into every single range matchup is this unbelievably god tier, but there's even a new play style where people are running Flash and Ghost plus this in the mid lane, in the top lane, and people are clapping cheeks. I know my boy Stevens Jax is actually playing it, and he's about to, I think he is challenger now. I'm not sure if he actually hit it, but he plays Jax with like a 90% win rate, and then he, anytime Jax gets taken or banned, he runs this exact strategy. So check this out. Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, Gathering Storm, Second Wind, Unflinching, and then we're going to go Double Adaptive Force and Health. And the reason you don't go Armor or Magic Resist here, I mean, you can if you really want to, right? But essentially, you have zero kill pressure until you hit level six and you get an Iron Spike Whip. Until you hit those things, you're really not trying to trade. All you're trying to do is survive until you get those items. Once you get those items and you get to that level, then you can start to fight your opponent. So really, you're kind of just like farming and sitting under tower until that point. So having that health really, really helps you scale. And then your passive um, from your W is just going to naturally allow you to get armor and magic just, just from last hitting minions. Ladies and gents, let's move on to the build now. Okay, now there are a couple acceptable level one starts. Typically, you're going to start Doran Shield. Obviously, you guys know that. Most of the time, Doran Shield is totally fine. However, what happens if you go against that Quinn top lane or you go against like a Heimerdinger or like a Malzahar or a Vayne? You got to go triple rejuvenation bead and a potion. This essentially is going to increase your um, passive re health regen by 150%. So essentially, if I get down to half HP and I just sit back for like 5 to 10 seconds, I think about 10 seconds actually, I'll be full HP. So there's really never a need to use a potion, especially if you respect your opponent in the top lane, okay? Also, you have things like cloth armor. Like, what if you go against a Riven or a Set and you're really, really not confident into that matchup, right? Like, a lot of the guys that I, a lot of you guys that I coach ask me this question all the time. What do I do against Riven? Like, I'm terrified. Just start cloth armor four and just sit back. And if you have the cloth armor four and you respect your opponent, you should never, ever, ever be able to get solo killed because this is going to allow you to rush those plated steel caps into that matchup, which is also going to make it pretty much impossible for them to ever kill you. 
And then now we have um, pretty much anything I would ever build. I don't ever go Doran's Blade just because I think it's super gold inefficient on Garen. Um, I just, it's just not a very good item on him. So I love going back and buying long swords because it builds into everything else. Potions. We only build refillable potion if we absolutely need it. If we're like in a lane where we're constantly getting hit, poked, poked, poke, obviously get this. Control Wars, you always want to have one at all times during the lane phase on the map in some way, okay? You're going to go Yellow Trinket for the, for the entire duration of the lane phase. Red Trinket, the second that lane phase ends, so you can start, you know, clearing your jungle, the enemy jungle, going for picks, clearing objectives to Dragon, Rift Herald, and Baron, so just to make sure they're secure. And if you ever fall insanely far behind to the point where everyone, like, you know when the enemy team takes over your, your jungle and there's nothing you can do? This is amazing because you can ward, I can ward Baron from mid lane. I can ward from my base. I can ward my blue buff, my red buff, everything. And it's totally safe. So get this when you're getting your cheeks clapped. Okay, boys. All right. Now we have our three boot options. Obviously you guys know Zerker Greaves is a phenomenal, phenomenal pick. However, it's not actually that necessary to buy them all the time. Sometimes plated steel caps into a hardcore auto attacking team is actually going to be more effective if you're running flash ghost phase rush stride breaker plated steel caps actually is fantastic because you're actually getting a pretty decent amount of attack speed from this as well so i actually like going these and then obviously merc treads is really only necessary when you're going against you know strong ap but also like let's say they have like in a leash jungle and they just have all this freaking cc that happens to be ap this is going to be your best friend trust okay all right now we have the three possible options now i know there's a fourth missing in here gale force don't build gale force you are listen gale force is good but it's not good in terms of scaling into the late game people are going to be able to one shot you okay you're trying to climb and you guys are all watching this want to climb to diamond and higher obviously right if, if you had the chance of getting that elo, you guys would all say yes, right? Um, and you building Gale Force and going full crit Garen is going to hit, stop you from climbing. So just please don't build Gale Force. Lots of fun. Don't do it in ranked. Okay. So Triforce took quite... I mean, I don't want to say it took a hit, but the last several patches, like Triforce is becoming less and less good. And I find that almost nobody builds Triforce. In fact, I think I'm the one of the only Garen mains to actually build it at this point. Um, which means Stride Breaker and Divine Sunderer have just gotten better because there's more attack damage in Divine Sunderer now. So um, I like Triforce. If you get really fed into like dually melee matchups, go Triforce. It's really good. Helps you get a lot of split pushing done, all that stuff. Stride Breaker is typically going to be the item you build most of the time. Um, it, everyone seems to be ranged. Everyone seems to be able to kite you out nowadays. So even if you're running Conqueror, consider building Stride Breaker. Divine Sunderer. So this is actually a fantastic item, and this is actually something that a lot of top laners are building in Challenger all around the world. So Divine Sunderer got a buff in attack damage and a nerf in HP, right? But it doesn't matter because you get so much freaking armor pen. So you stack your E along with this. Man, you get 25% armor pen from your E. A couple items later on Divine Sunderer, you can get up to like 35, 45% with this bad boy. So it's pretty nuts. Um, this combined with the death dance is like a, just an unbelievable, unbelievable build. You start doing true damage to people. It's nuts. So consider building this into armor stacking teams. Um, it's a very, very effective way to play as well. Okay. Now guys, let's talk about what we have for situational items. So typically you see a lot of people going mortal reminder, right? And this is only, only optimal if the enemy team has healing as an actual issue the problem with building mortal reminder is all the time is people have a lot of shields nowadays people are going immortal shield both sterex gauge there's like zeri action blah, blah 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 all these people with disgusting shields karma's being played again right so if you don't build serpent's fang you are going to lose every goddamn game you play fun fact i just lost five games in a row last night on one of my other accounts in like plat one plat one d4 and it was because i wasn't the one building the serpent's fang because i was so fed on like set or something right and i told my team guys build serpent's fang and shadow flame please 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 and they wouldn't they wouldn't build it so if i would have built it i probably would have won i probably would have won all those games but i just kept running into crazy shield team comps okay and it's a huge thing right now so remember think about that after you're done with your boots and your 
mythic item, consider looking at one of these to build. One of these bad boys is going to be really core for you, okay? So again, lots of shields, lots of healing. And now, Storm Razor, are there no shields and no healing and you're snowballing into your goddamn mind and you want a juicy snowball item for you? Storm Razor is fantastic. It's very, very, very situational and it's only it only should be built when you are clapping butt cheeks, okay? If you're in a situation where you can like 1v1 everyone in the game, you can tower dive your opponent, this is great to build because I like to tower dive my opponent under their tier two tower, take the tier two, and then grab Rift Herald and run it down bot. And this helps me with that 75% slow plus that magic damage. I could, I literally, if someone walks by me in a brush with this item, I could auto queue spin for like one tick, ult them and they're dead. It's insane. And then obviously Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver is fantastic if you're going against heavy armor stackers now guys remember this this is this is so situational i don't even remember the last time i built a black cleaver but i will throw this in here because it is a good item on uh garen the only reason it's not that good is you don't really get i mean i'd pr honestly i'd prefer like crit and attack speed and health and stuff on garen over like ability haste but anyway if you're going against people that are genuinely stacking a lot of armor to the point where you're even seeing the carries build like plated steel caps and zonias, this has to be built because the way this works, this is percentage. So it's 30% of their armor. Now guys, do some quick math. I've seen people build Black Cleaver and like Sereldia's Grudge into people that have like 40 or 50 armor. Guys, what's 30% of 50? Can I even do that math? Hold on, ready? Uh, nine? I can't do math, I can't do math. Anyway. Wait, hold on. I'm going to do this. Ready? 10% of 50 is 5, 10, 15. Okay, 15. It's 15. That's wrong. No, it's not. That's, that's 15. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm not here to teach you math. I can't do math. I suck. All right, but look. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, anyway. So only build it if they're stacking a lot of armor. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. If, if people aren't building armor, why are you building this? 30% of like fucking 40, 50 armor is basically nothing. So don't build it. Okay. Now, Steric Gauge did take a fat, fat, fat nerf. Okay. Fat, fat, juicy, terrible nerf. Okay. It's still really good. It's just not worth building so early anymore because you don't get that same juicy, juicy attack damage that you once got. You also don't get the insane, insane healing that you once got. Also, it's a big fat shield that's based off of the HP. Um, so that means like you need a shitload of HP to get a really big shield, which sucks. So don't build this until like fourth item plus, but I just throw this in here because this is another situational item that is very good into those people like Riven or uh, Kha'Zix or Talon, the people that could just delete you in half a second. But here's the thing. This is why you don't build it until later in the game because the new death dance is phenomenal. It now helps mitigate 30% of magic damage as well. It's not only armor. So like, let's say it's a heavy AD team you're going against. You end up going like stride breaker and then you go death dance because you're going against like a Riven and you just shit on Riven and 1v1 all day long. You have that, that, Zerker Greaves. Oh, game over, right? Then get this. Now you can consider building the Sterix Gauge because if you add that with that, oh my God, it is disgusting. But anyway, Death Dance is freaking incredible, guys. Start building it. Second item. What I mean, I, I, don't, I don't count boots as an item. So I mean, Mythic Item, Death Dance into almost every situation right now is God tier. Even Triforce Death Dance, dude. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. It's so good. I can't even tell you, man. I have been building this on every single top leaner in the game. Set Darius. Garen, oh my god, it's so strong. Please abuse it while it's strong, please. Okay, now, Dead Man's Plate. Only reason I ever build this, guys, is do I need more movement speed to be able to get to the side lane pressure and get to like the dragon faster, to the team fight faster? That's really the only time I like building it. Other than that, I love building Randuins into strong crit teams. I love building Stone Plate. Not that often, to be honest with you, because of Death Dance now, but again, if you get to the later portion of the game, this is a fantastic item. Like fifth or sixth item, this is a fantastic item into those mixed teams. That big juicy shield when you're stacking HP with Sterax and all that stuff. Because Sterax doesn't proc until you get below 30% HP, you can hold on to your Sterax for a very long time. By the second you start taking damage in a fight, pop your stone plate. Oh my god, it's so effective. Anyway, now we move on to the magic resist section. So, Force of Nature is in 
it is incredible, okay? There's lots of people like Syndras and Karmas and Zillions and blah, 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 all these, Cassiopeia, all these people that want to stack magic damage on you, right? If you build Force of Nature, you stack movement speed and magic resist to the point where I think you end up getting 100 magic resist from this. So um, even into champions, any champion in the game that does consistent magic damage to you, like in a short duration, uh, like Jax, for example, every third auto does magic damage, right? This is a phenomenal item into Jax where you can actually kite out his auto attacks um, very, very, very easily if he doesn't have lethal tempo. So I love building this second item into Jax. Fun fact, into Jax, usually I'll end up building Stridebreaker, Force of Nature. And there's, dude, there's like nothing he can do. It's hilarious. Next time you go against Jax, consider building the second item. Spirit Visage. So Spirit Visage should only be built in a few situations. Number one, ask yourself, do you have a Soraka, a Yumi, a Nami, a Sona, a Senna? Do you have someone that gives you shields or heals consistently in team fights and they're not like brain dead? Build this item. Obviously, into like MR teams, obviously, right? But check this out too. What if you have stone plate and stair axe and you have like a Soraka or something? Imagine how god tier this is. Plus 25%. 25%. Oh my god, it's insane. Okay. Also, guys. What about Ocean Soul? You guys have like three Ocean Souls. Is there, are you about to get the Ocean Soul? Dra are you about to get the Ocean Dragon Soul? Makes it 25% more effective. Consider building it. Okay, now let's talk about Ma. The only time Ma will ever make sense on Garen ever. Do they have a 20 and a LeBlanc that can literally one-shot you and the rest of the team is irrelevant? This is a fantastic item. Do they have a 20 no Elise that can one-shot you? Ma is amazing for just those situations. Do they have a Vex that is 90 and 0? Ma of Malamortis is fantastic. Again, because, because Starax got nerfed so hard. I don't want to say it got nerfed so hard, but it got nerfed, right? Ma is a great option. And then again, I put Stone Plane in here because it can be built into MR or AD teams. All right, now guys, do me a favor. Watch the entire video. I'm telling you right now, there's eight juicy banger games in here, okay, where I teach you guys all this information. And honestly, if you watch the entire thing through, you're going to have all everything you need to know to get to your desired rank. And again, if you if you decide you still can't click on the link down below um, for a coaching session, coaching is all coaching prices are 30 percent off right now. So they're really, really, really cheap. Um, and yeah, good luck, guys. All right, fellas. Um, bad news. We are going against an Akali top lane without magic resist. So <laughs> yikes. Um yeah, this is really going to suck. But we got second win, triple Reju bead. Um, I've always wanted to try triple Reju bead into Akali. So I guess we just see how the, this goes, huh? I kind of want to start E here. A nice chunk. That was juicy. Damn, that hurts, man. Oh my goodness. One minion. Okay. <sighs> Heart's beating, holy shit. I do the adrenaline rush of that fight. I was not ready for that. Okay, I'm probably just going to go for a cheater. You fucking idiot. You're so fucking stupid. It's crazy. All right, this guy's trolling. I'm gonna dive him here. Fuck. 
All right, I trolled. My bad. My fault. I trolled, boys. My bad. My bad. All right. So fucking cringe. It's disgusting. Fucking piece of shit. All right. I trolled. My bad. My bad. My bad. I denied him off a whole wave, so it's not the end of the world, but that was my bad. Fuck. That sucks. I didn't fucking mean to do that. I like just hesitated so hard. Okay. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, boys. How do you play against matchups like Trundle or Vlad? Find out with new Glacier Academy coaching. All right, boys, we're, we're chilling. He didn't even push the wave, so I'm happy. You know, this is the first game of the day, right? We That was our that was our little mistake that we're going to make, so I'm, I'm okay with that. It happens, you know? Okay. We're in a pretty good spot at this point. Only thing that sucks is Akali get, got the assist and kill. But at the same time, I got the wave management. God, what the fuck? Alternator? Oh, God. That's going to really hurt when she hits that on me. I just have to respect. Kind of want to go ward over. Oh, fucking poor guy. He's dead. Nice gank. Just fuck it. Fuck it. I don't have anything too far away. Didn't go for anything. Oh, shit. I think we have enough magic damage later on in the game. I'm guessing I'm going to have to get Merc Treads big time here because of, uh, look at all this bullshit. Not scared. I'm never scared of a Yasuo player. Yasuo players are never good. You never have to be scared of the Yasuo. Got to turn the fan on after this, boys. Is that a Kali mid? Oh, shit. Poor guy. He's dead. Fucking Zed, man. going off my mouse I'm a little scared of Diana to be honest with you so I don't really want to ever risk dying because all I have is a null magic you know yeah, I don't have much I'll probably kill him right here he walks up a little too far there we go oh Okay, well, he just decided to troll, I guess. No shroud means you don't get to play a Kali. OK, 
Okay. We're not going to go Merc Treads. I am doing way too well at this point. Do it, asshole. Cringe. So let's think. There's only one shield. But Diana might be our entire issue here this game. Hold on, let's think. Boom, boom, boom. This game might be Stridebreaker. Yeah, it is. It is. We have to go this. So look, it's one, two, three. I just don't want to get kited out by a Kali, to be honest with you. I don't think I need Triforce this game. I think Stridebreaker is just going to make it really simple to kill these guys. So let's just get this. No, you'd never build wits in. Terrible. It's a useless item on Garen. Very useless. Just let this crash. 69 farm, boys. Look at that. We're going to go drop some wards here. Okay. Uh, at this point, what I want is this ward right here. This ward's God's here. And hit that. See if bitch ass Kali's there. There you go. Okay. See, we make those plays, baby. Oh! Fuck me, dude. I hate first game of the day. First game of the day sucks. It actually blows Wiener. Oh, it makes me so sad. I get at least one played here. Yeah, I know. I see him. Okay. Let's keep running. Keep running. Uh, I don't have a ignite. I could probably kill this guy, actually. If Diana isn't here. Well, watch. Watch. I'm not going to kill him now because I don't have flash. How much do you guys want to bet? Let me see if he's dumb enough to walk over here. I think he goes to be here. I want to go for a plate if I can. Fuck it. Why not? I know he went back and Diana being top laner now makes no sense. Okay. I like that play. Just trying to push my lead as much as I can, you know? So. Could really turn this into something here. This is totally fine. I like this. So we lock down stride breaker. And then what I really want is I want to make it so that this guy can't one shot me. Crazy magic damage later. Crazy magic damage, crazy magic damage. So, um, to be honest with you, this might be a spirit visage game to have a bigger shield. Cause if I get that stair axe, I can get a fucking huge, huge shield. The new stair axe, new stair axe. Relax. Okay. Gotta watch out for Diana up top. Oh, wait a minute. Why are you using Shroud, homie? I'm just gonna freeze. Try and make him make a mistake here. And again, as Garen, I don't care about tanking that because I'm gonna regen that instantly. If we see a Kali, uh, we hard shove. But I'm, I'm making, um, I'm getting so far behind, or sorry, ahead of this guy because of, he just keeps leaving lane. I just keep freezing on him and he's screwed. Again, just looking for a Kali. Come on, Kali, show mid. You show mid, I push. Come on, Akali. Show mid. Jesus Christ. 
You little city boy, huh? Oh, Akali. Dude. My guy, where are you? You're mid, okay. Yep, I see. I know what's going on. Hold on. Don't really know if I want to go for the tower. I think I'd rather go for a pick here. Hold on. I'm going to kill here probably. Fuck. I'll call it. You're kind of a bitch. Okay. What are you doing? He just like gave up on top. Who does that? Oops. That's sad. Oh, that's the double sad. Uh, I can one shot Yasuo. I can one shot everyone on their team at this point. So this game should be over if I play it perfectly and stop randomly flashing for no reason. You know, that's going to be pretty good. Don't care about him. I care more about grouping with my team right now. This. God, I kind of want to grab this now. Mm -hmm. I want to grab Sterix right now. It's so unbelievably good into the, into getting one shotted by Diana or Kali. It's so great. Come on, guys. Oh my god. Rift. Come, 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 come. Oh, you know what I realized? Iron Spike Whip stops you from moving, but Stride Breaker doesn't. That, my friends, is interesting. Give to me, give to me, baby. I saw daddy can split. Thanks, dad. I mean, if they're gonna troll like this, I'm just gonna end the game. So the only time I like splitting is when people troll like this and they're just like the enemy team is just all about getting kills here and not about winning so i'll take that thought about picking up jacks not currently no and wait for the next wave hmm. whole team's mid Oh, I could have killed him. I could have killed him. So you see what I'm saying? I'm going to need a spirit visage right after this. You get so little stats. Yeah, but against their team, I still think I like it because I'm going to get almost a thousand health. I will get like a thousand health shield from this. And if I have spirit visage, it's, it's game over. Really love this.
spirit. Yeah, I get the bonus shields. Anti one shot, exactly, my friend. And if I'm anti one shot, that means they're all dead. And also, we have a little bit of healing, not too much. Okay, so I gotta babysit my teammates here. They're trolling a little bit. Fellas, wait to fight with Zed and I. They can't beat us. Fight right now. GG boys. So there's four of us and only one of them don't care if they steal this dragon. So I will push here instead. Not important enough for me to go to secure this dragon. This is the best play. Don't think I could beat Diana one-on-one -on -one either is kind of scary because her shield is insane. He's scared of me, as you should be. Oh, fuck. That was my bad. I thought, fuck. He turned around. I thought he was heading to me. It's my bad. Finally get to catch you online through the awesome Garen videos and guys, I got you, Brezza. All right, you know, this is kind of to be expected. A first game of me kind of playing like this, you know, but we'll clean it up. We will clean this up in the games to come. So once I get Spirit Visage, um, I might consider going Mortal Reminder. And I don't know why. To be honest with you, I think Serpent's Fang might be best chat what do you guys think here's the thing the healing is not a problem it's not going to be a problem for a long time there are two shields though diana's shield is pretty big this guy's shield's pretty big um i don't see any other shields anywhere else though so if i get serpent's fang here i can just focus diana one shot and then the game's over that's kind of what i'm hoping for here she's recalling on this brush nope Kind of love the idea of that. No vision. Free low. Imagine how much faster she dies if she doesn't get that shield. Yeah, chem tank is a part of uh, Macaulay's freaking build now. It's really stupid, but it's OP. Um, to be honest with you, I'm going to go with my gut here and go Serpent Fang. I'm going to go with my gut. I don't want any chance of these fools surviving. I don't want even 1% one, 1 chance. I mean, well, hey, that's a Kali for you, dude. Builds full tank and is still broken. I just think that guy doesn't know how to play a Kali, though, so... It doesn't work if the person doesn't understand how to play a Kali, which is good. You just take advantage of them and beat them. Okay, I'll go mid here. Better to group with the team here instead of split.
And there's my... There's my perfect example. <laughs> GG's, boys. It's like, why would we go for a tier one tower bot when I could just do that and then end the game? You see? And that, my friends, is why you should never split push. Plain and simple, eh? And also, you have to understand, look at this. If I drop below 30% health, guys, I get a 863 HP shield. And that's only going to scale harder and harder and harder. I don't have enough damage is the problem. They might come. Uh, guess not. Interesting decision making by them. Look at the dragon. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Dude, how sick would it be, guys, if you could ult the dragon? Oh, that'd be so cool. I'd love that. Hey, are you guys surprised? It's a Yasuo player, man. Are you guys even surprised? I don't think so. Well, guys, one thing I will say, if you were thinking that the new Sterak sucked, I'm going to say this right now. It does not. Specifically on Garen, I love it so effing much. Dude, it's a rapidly decaying shield, but God damn it, man, if I stack HP on Garen, oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, think about Garen. Every game you end up getting, you end up getting on Garen without even trying over 3000 HP. And usually that's going to end up being over a thousand HP shield on Sterax. So I like that. I think that's disgusting. Not as good. It's true. It's not as good as the former Sterax, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't build it. Yep. 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 Boom. Bop. Blah. Okay. You suck. Uh, we are way overextended here. Without stride breaker, I don't have the damage to one shot anyone here. Uh, that could be worded. Hey, fellas, group, please. There's no reason for us to not be grouping. Zed, stop splitting. There we go. Okay, again, I went Serpent's Fang because of double shields. Their most important person of their team has a massive shield. So if I can just one-shot him, irrelevant, 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 irrelevant. I mean, Akali is the only second scary one, but I'm basically going to focus Diana and then Akali, and then the game's over. There's nothing they can do. And to make it even spicier, I could go Stone Plate. You are acting mad, goofy city boy. A mm -mm. little overextended here. Mm. Dude, look how freaking tanky I am. You're going, Daddy. I'll get you. Goodbye. I was just being a little hesitant because like I don't want them to I don't want them to kill me. Alright, boys, there you have it. That is the new Sterex gauge. I like it. 50. Boop. GG. Alright, fellas, we're going against a ribbon. I am trying something new here where I go cloth armor. And I got bone plating, so I should be shouldn't be that scary in theory if i can play it correctly my game volume is way too loud jesus nice i'll take that i do have hella health potions here 
Okay, that's awkward. It's funny, even with a cloth armor, she takes you down that low. Okay. Okay, what is going on with my CSE? Shit. Hecarim jungle could be here. Oh, he got me. Okay. I went too far past my minions and I didn't anticipate the shield. So I thought I would do way more damage there and I did not. That was the mistake. Okay. So next time we have to, if we're going to kill Riven, I really got to have ultimate. Honestly, I really, really, really do. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That is totally fine. I've got to have ult there. It's just because the problem is the shield is way too huge. It's too huge early. So the only way we're going to kill her is if we if we fight, if we we fought her in our whole minion wave, it would have been fine. But I think I chased her down past. And again, if she's any other champion, she instantly dies there. But like that's the adjustment you have to make against Riven specifically is the fact that she's not like other champions. That shield makes her insanely tanky and she can one shot you. So... I think what I'm going to have to do here is just beef up. I'm not even going to try and fight her for like a long time, honestly. Just focus on getting back into the game here. I don't want Riven getting too fed. Okay, okay. got to let that go. so weird i thought the cloth armor would do a little bit better of a job at tanking her damage but it it's almost like she just does like true damage that's like what it feels like when you play against riven feels like you're tanking true damage shit i guess i'll just ward behind me this guy's never going to let me get up there Good news is my team seems to be doing okay. So this guy's going to hit six soon. So I got to be really respectful here. Yeah. Try and see if I can bait him. There he is. Okay. Hecarim also could be up here. I can't get the cannon. Damn it. Q, you stupid bitch. Oh man, he knows wave management. All right. Giving up that one kill really screwed me over here. This is pretty bad. Yeah, I know Hecarim's up here. I dare you assholes to die me. I'll take at least one of you with me. That one, that one death really set me behind here, but I can get back into it. This guy ever decides to press Q or anything. Okay, he fucked up. He could have let that push into him. That would have been huge for him.
two shields on their team. Oh my goodness. Fucking bitch. I'm all playing. Fuck. Being in the army, I move a lot, so it's always nice to be able to enjoy your content regardless of where I am at. I feel you, dog. I feel you. I appreciate that home slice. I'm currently getting the shit kicked out of me here. It's been a while since we've played against a ribbon, but I appreciate you, homie. Um, what in the frick do I even want right now? Probably just do this at this point. I'll play to him. Glad you're able to enjoy the content, broski. Oh, tank up. I messed up early. This is one of those matchups where if you mess up early against a Riven that's like knows how to take advantage of that, you're you're screwed. So it's my fault. Missed a lot of farm for no reason too, but it's okay. I am nice and beefy now. We can still win this game. I'm going to have to stop Riven later though. Now the problem with Riven too is Riven kind of ignores a lot of stuff. way too much farm guys shit yeah this kid's not bad not bad at all it's level 7 though one thing I will say about that. Fuck, I missed cannon. For the love of fuck, man, just fuck yes. Okay, we're playing with better players now. This is good shit. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Mm, I think I have to go spike whip here because of this. Yeah, let's just do this. I like this a lot. Um, let's just do this. I like this. Care that's warded all ward for you. Yeah, next game prediction for sure. This is probably worded. Mm, Riven doesn't have anything. Okay. I gotta get used to this. I'm so scared of Riven. Hmm. 
You're such a cock, it's insane. Try and defend this ward. You win that, you win that. Please kill him. Holy shit, you guys suck. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? All right, nice. Again, I have no choice but to kind of play like a bitch. We got too far behind. I have to be scared. Riven can kill me in like two seconds. I have to respect her. If she gets any more fed, the game's over. So we can't let that happen. Oh God, Hecarim is so OP. Oh my fucking creep block is so AIDS. Oh my God. I don't know what's happening in this game. Cringe. I think I'm lagging. I have to be lagging. It's kind of insane. Okay. We take those. He just keeps taking bad trades. I'm chilling. Nice. Just bait him out, make him think I recalled. Level 11, holy shit. Let's go team. So this Riven is hard goofing by not roaming. She is throwing the game hard. You have to roam as Riven in this situation. You have way too much mobility. And like, dude, think about this. If she just grouped with her team once, they win. Because Hecarim's 4-0. You know, they can't. There's no universe we stop them. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Is This is, this is how you're supposed to come back in the game. You just respect your opponent. Respect them as much as you can. Okay. Should have ignited instantly. Once he wasted those cues like that, I should have just sent it all over his chest. You know, it's funny. If I have freaking Zerker Greaves, I just whip that ass. Not going to stay. He still has everything out. I'm going to sell this potion. Grab this. Zerker Graves would be nice, actually. Fuck it. Yeah, let's do this. I'm cool with this. Or fuck that. We have a whole freaking stride breaker. I'm just gonna grab actually no. This is fine. I did switch back to full screen, thank you. See it, guys, I'm telling you, this ward keeps your jungle nice and safe. Uh oh. You dumbass. What are you doing topside? You're so stupid. You dumbass. You thumbass. Fucking Jesus. Okay, then. All right. And this is why I never panic when I like in because I know all I have to do is just get back into the game. Like I know, here's the thing. I know I'm a better player than these people I'm going against. So if I die to them, it's like, whatever, I made a mistake, who cares? But as long as we don't keep making the same mistakes, we can get into this situation now where we're now, look, now we're almost ahead of this guy because of that mistake he just made. Let me take this tower now. Holy fuck, they just took two towers off that? Can't stay for this. 11.50, I need a little bit more gold. Oh, no way. I guess I'll just go mid, take this. This is a really good rotation because the no one's here to hold. Jesus 
fucking crazy. You guys are so stupid. Right there, that decision making to not recall there and to just go mid to pressure and then group was insane. That's the type of decision making. If you if you can do that every game, I fucking guarantee you, you will win a lot of games. I can guarantee it. Oh, I should have. Okay, well, should have gone mid. I just contradicted myself. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the biggest threat is those guys. Um, I kind of want to go for a dead man's here. I love dead man's here. That's funny. I like literally just said like, oh, yes, I should have been there with my team or at least I should have gone top and catch caught that wave, right? There's no sense in me recalling there. That was stupid. That was really stupid. Now I feel like a dum dum. I feel like a poo poo. I feel like a little poo poo salad finger. A little poo poo caca. Mother of God. <coughs> little poo poo. You got a little dookie. Bot lane, stay mid. Thirty three seconds. Shoving top, then coming. Quickly shove this. Just run, just run, just run. I gotta kill that uh, Jinx. So goddamn good. Macro of the goddamn century, boys. Mm, we won't be able to get this. Fuck. See how tanky I am, by the way? That warden's mail, baby, doing that work. I have to recall here. All right, boys, we came back and this ward clutched. But now it's time to replace the ward. I'm going to head bot. Shout out to this Lee, man. This Lee is, is, is so good. He is so, so, so good. No need to be greedy. Oh, shit. Don't, don't greed, please. Don't greed. No greed. No greed. No greed. I'm just communicating with my teammates, like letting them know, like, hey, I'm coming, don't worry. Okay, I push two waves, then we go. Can I get there quickly? That should be free, but it's also very scary. I mean, we're full HP. If they steal it, it's like, whatever. I don't care.
They got us off. Hey, 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 hey. We're being kind of greedy here. We're being a little greedy. Going for challenger? Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing for fun. Funzos, you know? Okay, now we have the movement speed to help not get kited. Kind of love Mortal Reminder here now, to be honest with you. Hmm. I kind of love Mortal Reminder here. Healing. Internal healing, tons of healing, tons of healing. Yeah, let's go Mortal Reminder. Let's do that. I think I'm tanky enough to not need Sterex at the moment. Wish you to the rescue. Look at that. From 0 and 2 to 5 and 2. Just like that, boys. That's how it's done. Not scared of you at all. See, knowing things like this as well, this guy's level 12. I'm level 15. What the hell is this guy going to do to me? This is how you play Garen like a Chad. Just need mortal. After that, instead of um, because we have the the dragon soul, I'm gonna go for a spirit visage after mortal reminder. I love mortal reminder here because again they do have strong amounts of healing, and I don't want them um, to survive when I'm on top of them. That sounded weird. Let's let's pretend I said that. Can we all just forget about that? I just said that. Let's just forget about that. No one heard that. How did Jinx get two kills there? That's a great question, dude. I have no idea. Because the Jinx is strong, dude. Jinx is super strong. Garen is S tier right now? Yes, absolutely. Not S plus, but S tier for sure. Because like a lot of people are way stronger. I mean, GP, Camille, Jax. Lots of people are way stronger. Kale. They can steal it. I wouldn't be surprised if they stole it here, but they're not going to win if they do. Only way they win is if they get Elder. I'll shut mid. You always want to Baron buff the supers.
Dude, my teammates are doing so well. Shout out to this Lee Sin, dude. He's getting all the honor. See, if someone on your team doesn't do this, you have to do this. Because this super minion, this Baron buff super minion is crack. Look at that. Just ignore top lane. Seven and two. From 0 and 2 to 7 and 2. That, that's how you come back. All right, fellas, I got an interesting theory craft here. So their whole team is able to kite me out, right? So phase rush looks good, but normally I run Conqueror into Aatrox. Now, I think phase rush will actually be disgusting into Aatrox, and here's why. So you know when he throws that W and it slows you and it's really hard to get out of that little thing that sucks you back in to land the third Q. Well, essentially I can completely nullify that slow with phase rush. So I think this might actually be insane, but I don't know. So this is me testing it out. We're going to see if it's any good. I have a theory. It's, it's pretty nuts. Right, and we go triple rejuve B just because I'm never actually going to try and kill him. I don't, there's no universe I could kill him without iron spike whip. So I want to just be able to last forever in lane theoretically. Did he cancel his auto? He's level two off that minion. Yeah, okay. So I'm really just going to kind of concede the lane and having the triple rejuve B just makes it so that if I ever make a mistake, I'm good. If you have Doran shield, you don't have enough... Um, health regen if they're super aggressive. That's the only issue with Doran Shield. Rico. Oh shit, I'm trolling. The second I let Rico. City boy. I'm chilling. <sighs> Big fan from Brazil. <laughs> All right, that's good. We love watching Vex players die. All right, dude, will you just relax? I'm trying to interact with the chat here, city boy. Okay, now he should go for the cheater, unless he's a troll. Run, please. I have to get this farm. Fuck, I couldn't run down for that. It's not worth it. No universe I run down for that one. No universe, bro. Oh, that's interesting. I've got some greed going on here. Too big of a wave. Let me get spike whip first. I'm too useless is the problem. I'm way too useless. I think that was the correct play. I think it's their fault for dying there. They, there's no need for them to fight. Absolutely no no need to fight. Can't dive him. Want to? I could try. I could try. Fuck it. Actually, nope. Never mind. I still don't have spike whip. Let me see. I feel like I could just kill him. You know what? If I ignited him, he was dead. All right, so, okay. Lesson learned, ignite instantly. I don't know why I didn't. That was kind of confusing. <laughs> that was kind of stupid, whatever. 
Okay, now I have spike up. Now I can actually be useful. Ooh. Why am I running phase rush? Because I think it's insane into Aatrox. Yeah, bro. You know what's funny? If I just ignited, I would have proc phase rush and been fine. So I don't know why the fuck I... I don't know. No idea. No idea. You guys ever just make dumb decisions? I do that all the time. Oh, you are not going to beat Bex. Never mind. Uh, I stand corrected. Okay. Watch out for jungler here. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, I have to get Zerkers and then it should be over. Ooh, he fucked up so hard. Oh my God. That's so bad. Him building that was a huge, 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 huge mistake. He should have not done that. I don't think Rengar will actually try and gank. Yeah, relax. Bro, will you just calm down? Jesus. I'm not going to trim this. Okay. Limit test. No idea where Zinzo is. I don't know where Zin is. He's probably on Dragon if I had to guess. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Oops. Let's do this. Um. Shield one, shield two. Potentially shield three. This might be a Serpent's Fang game, but Serpent's Fang is not going to help me against Aatrox because he has no shield. So we'll see. We challenge her now, boys. City boys. Get a little bit of a defensive ward in here. Um, He has nothing here. I could probably just kill him, honestly. Yeah. You yeah, know, ults. I mean, he's just trolling by being there in the first place. He has no ult, no flash. Very bad decision there. Uh, I probably can't get two plates, but I can try. Uh, it's okay. At least I can deny him another wave here. This is fine. Okay, if I can push any slower, that'd be great. I'm just going to let that go. I don't care. Zerker Greaves definitely here. I love going Zerker Greaves second when I go phase rush. So that's the only thing you have to remember, guys. If you go phase rush, you are so bad without conquer, essentially, right? So you have to get that 30 attack damage from spike whip, and then it balances that it balances out because that's usually what you'd end up getting from a fully stacked conquer. Um, and then after that, you can go Zerker Greaves. A lot of Garen players finish Stride Breaker, but I think that's dumb because Zerker Greaves is actually, in my opinion, it's stronger than finishing Stride Breaker, in my opinion. In my expert opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. You goofy boy. Make sure he's safe. Okay. Again, you see what I'm saying? I, if we imagine if I left my lane here to go help my team, I'd be screwed right now. Okay. This guy has everything up. So we actually don't want to fight him. Watch. He's going to go forward. Okay. Okay. I wish I had, a, I wish I sold this for a controller. That was the mistake.
Mm, I'd rather not try and fight this guy because he can smite me. I think he beats me without ignite. Should be good. Full AD team comp though. So let's. Yeah, we need mobility. Exactly. If we have mobility, we can do anything we want here. That was just not the right play, you fucking idiot. Oh shit, why didn't... I'd be... I don't know much about Rengar. So we're gonna ward over, because Zinzao could be here. Oh, okay. Yeah, again, there's no reason for me to kill him, right? I just want to take these plates. Yeah, there's no reason for me to kill him here. Don't have to. I don't need to throw. I'm trying to bait him out here if I can. Don't have ignite too, so I kind of want to wait at this point. Try and bait out this Q here. Go ahead. There we go. Well, I can dive him now. I mean, to be honest with you, I think a, a, a better player probably would have gone for that kill, to be honest with you, but I'm trying to not be greedy and throw my lead. So that's kind of my mindset now. But then again, I could have just done that instantly. So it's okay. Dude, we are, we are playing in freaking Winner's queue so hard, and I am so happy. Because I'm playing out of my goddamn mind right now, so this is good. Good job on Dragon. Boys. What do I want? Dead man's five kill. Oh my god. Nope. I think I want Serp Fang here. Do I play Garen because he requires no mechanics? No. I started playing him a long time ago to prove a point of like, I can climb to diamond playing the war, like one of the worst champs in the game. Just to prove a point. And then obviously, you know, I've played tons of other champs. Um, but for the sake of YouTube content, people have always seemed to really respond to the Garen stuff. So I just stuck with it. And then I, I, did, I did quit Garen forever. And then they ruined Stridebreaker when I was playing Darius. So... Not much I could do about that. Okay, I can shove one more wave here. Yeah, not much. Not much we can do about that, sadly.
You just should be fine, right? About to say, there's no way he won V3s, right? You guys are fine. Teammates don't need me. They're they're killing it. I might die. Reset, 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 reset. Okay. I'll shove out bot before I go back. I think that Rift Herald is the best play. Zeri's trolling. Holy shit. Zeri's OP, dude. Holy mother god. I smurf your peak, hell yeah. What a danimal. Okay, I can go for this. We know where their whole team is. <sighs> but to go back to your question, when you play Garen, it allows you to not have to ever learn any mechanics. So you have to focus hard on macro. And if you can learn the macro side of the game, you can play anyone. That's why you see challenger players being able to whip that ass. Okay, this is a this is a weird game, dude. Okay. I got Serpent's Fang for this shield, this shield, this shield. Executive call here. Let's take rift and end. So I like Sterex here instead of dead man's because the main threat is magic damage. And if I go dead man's, that doesn't really help me at all. But if I go Sterex, I'll have um, a huge like 800 health shield that'll stop me from being one shotted by Vex. So I think that's better. All right, I guess I'm going to go solo this. This is such a one-sided game now. I don't know what happened. Okay, so we don't use this here because it's free. Two death timers. The rest of their team is down here by dragon. We're going to use this to get an inhibitor. I'm guessing this guy is like a low diamond player.
Not playing. I couldn't get my Q off there. Also, uh, the crown. We gotta lose if we don't just Baron and end. Why are we doing this? This just doesn't make any sense. We're we're like we're like throwing super hard here. They can come back and win insanely easily. Like almost too easily. We have a full AD team comp. If these two and Lux focus on getting super tanky, then these two just do as much damage as they can, they win. It's fucking stupid. Okay, please. Let's Baron now and end. I don't want to throw. What elo is this game? We have a Garen. <laughs> Jesus. Hilarious. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Low Diamond Peeker. Hope someone helps you out with that ego, boy. Because you're going to need it. Okay, now I have this. Now I should never be able to die. And now I'll go, um, I don't know what I want. Again, this guy's the biggest threat. He goes through shields. Probably like a spirit visage. It's a really smart, smart buy on his part. Probably spirit visage. They can win. Thank God the enemy team sucks, dude. We would have lost so freaking long ago. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I forgot that bitch was still alive. Oh, God. Am I dead? Oh, my God. I forgot she was still alive. Holy moly. I forgot that bitch was alive. Wow, I forgot that bitch was alive. Oh my god, I almost threw. Mm, force of nature seems kind of nuts. I like force of nature because I get stacking MR and he has no magic penetration besides this. So I kind of like that more. I don't really like the idea of getting 25% increased shielding against shadow flame because um, it's pointless. I mean, she's just going to shred 50% of no matter how big my shield is. So if anything, if it goes up more, she's just going to shred even more of the shield. So it's like, I don't think it's worth. I'm going to go force of nature here. And then uh, these guys can't kite me ever. So I like that. Okay, now we have dragon soul. Now we should never lose. Drangar is down bad, bro.
I'm definitely screwed here. Thank God, Vayne's so stupid. Holy fuck. Oh, thank God. You got it. That's what I'm saying. Thank God we're not going against challenger players. If we were in challenger, we lose. Because Vayne would, not, would know not to focus me, the tank, and focus the right people. And then it'd be over. Woo, thank God. All right. Teammates freaking overperform that game, but I'll take it. So it looks like phase rush works in day trucks. I love it. GG. All right, fellas. Full try hard. Begin. I haven't seen an Alawi in a long ass time. So just going to go Triforce. Is there, I'm going to go Zerker's Triforce. Probably Mortal Reminder into those, those city boys. Ooh, I'm a little late. Shit. No, I'm so late. Next time I'm getting like a one, one attack leash. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't let this guy farm. Come on, daddy. What? Oh my goodness. Yes, tank it. There we go. Should be able to recall here. Just gonna grab this. He can't push fast enough, so it's fine. Got a nice little advantage. Okay. Hopefully I can freeze here. God, the thing about her is her healing is so unbelievably good. It's so disgusting. Oh, he goofed it. All right. Looks like we freeze, boys. Hey. I kind of misplayed my level two. It's okay, though. Okay. Look at the beauty. Top frozen. Oh my God, that thing got sniped, yo. It's level four. Okay. Just healing is unbelievable. The healing is literally unbelievable. I gotta let this shove out a little. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just let it push. It's fine. It's fine. You got him. Oh, he actually almost did. He almost did a lot of damage to me. That's interesting. He's doing way more damage than he should, which is surprising. Oh, he's no TP. Oh my goodness. I can't get a blade anyway. Fuck. Um. I 
just want more stats. We're in a pretty good spot. Bramble executioners. Uh, Bramble would be fine, but I, I love mortar reminder. I have to build mortar reminder into their team anyway, because the crazy amount of healing on those two. But we'll see. Level five. Can't let this fool hit six. Okay, hopefully he backs off here. Are you fucking serious? That's bullshit. That's bullshit, dog. You're full of shit. Oh, damn, the mini boy. Is that Johnny? Is that Johnny Bravo? What's Gucci, baby? She was listening. You better pray. You better pray. I don't see a little crack ass in solo queue, man. You better pray. I have to clap some sin cheeks. Oh, shit. Ow. As I'm getting my ass kicked. Poggy woggies, baby. Appreciate that, home. Home slice. Relax. God, I can't kill Alawi in a one-on-one -on -one right now, dude. I just can't. Unless he misses E, I can get a little trade in, maybe. Maybe. B. Oh my god, you're so cringe. Such an annoying matchup. We can win it later, but for now, it's, it's like kind of AIDS. Eh. It's just kind of AIDS, right? It just it is the way it is. He has terrible setup, but I just don't have the burst right now to kill him. He has Garbo. Oh, dude, what? Yeah, he also magically has a level at lead on me, which is like just kind of ridiculous to me. It's kind of laughable. We're chilling. Nice little baby trade. Got my boyfriend coming in. Hecarim's coming. Nice. I mean, if I just wait for my boyfriend to come kill him, I'm happy with that. Because here's the here's the difference because Alawi has ignite it actually is giving her a shitload of kill pressure dude and it's kind of insane and she's also stacking ad which I actually love what she's doing she's like making up for her unbelievable lack of attack damage it's working it's actually working pretty well I'm not gonna lie I feel like if she was a little bit better of an Alawi player she could probably get some kills on me maybe but you know <laughs> wishful thinking Let's go Zerkers Zerkers executioners and then now this guy goes oh, Bye bye Everyone in the chat stay with me. Bye bye. 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 Say bye. 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 Bye See the horror of g2 Jace I really top no, I have no idea Sheen this guy's going in yo so he just wasted his ignite. His flash is up in 30 seconds. Party till I die with my poop up high. Poop my butt. Poop your mama. Yay. Carry me, Dewanel Jr. Bye bye. Bye bye. Dewanel. This guy does anal? What? Okay. Shout out to having a, a jungler as a boyfriend, man. There is no better perk as a top laner. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. It's a little scrumptious boy. Okay. So I'm just going to chill with the wave here. Now his boyfriend is here. Also, can we all acknowledge the fact that like, how does Alawi maintain levels after being killed twice? Probably maybe because of shared XP. That could be why shared xp also don't really think i want to fight him without ignite if he misses an e on game if he misses an e i'm down 
we'll see god my eyes are bleeding right now holy shit now we're getting into the uh, the dangerous Alawi zone where he does have the good tentacle spawns up which is scary so so scary ow you little rat remind me after this game we have to turn these lights off man these things are burning <sighs> eyes are bleeding okay <laughs> my name is a wowie look at me i'm a wowie daenerys Uh, oh, now I get in your face. Holy shit balls. You better die, you little rat. Dude, what? In what universe do you not die? What? You are shitting me, right? Yes. <laughs> they fall for it every time. Also, you should have died, so frick you. How did you not die? Like, what? Can we all talk about the fucking witchcraft and wizardry that just happened there? What? You kooky little city boy. Oh, God damn, Dylan. I missed you, bro. Where the hell have you been? You little, you little, you little. All right, let's go back. Let's get the frick out of here. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I want Trinity. I won't see Trinity. Did I just push that wave? Oh, my God, I did. No. I feel like a damn fool. Damn, did I push the chat? Did I push that wave? I think I just mindlessly did that. I'm not supposed to do that. Because now I RNG'd the freaking wave. Stupid. And funny enough, it was actually pushing into him. We lost the RNG. All four inches of... What? What? You've been playing ranked? Dillard. We're going to have that legendary vein come back? Come back to party? I don't have shit. Fuck it. <laughs> we going in, baby. You're lucky. Listen, I don't have shit. Okay, then. Dude, this guy is a Chad. Oh, my God. Oh, no ult on you. You're dead, huh? So who wants to die today? Let's go. Go ahead. Use your stun. I'm bad. You have a shield bow. Ah, oh my God. This game gets cringier by the minute. Quinge. I'm quinging. I'm quinging. Skirt. Oh, I thought you were going to turn on me. Did you go this way. Well. I've been duped. Leave it to my boyfriend. Leave it to my boy toy. I'm just going to shove this. This guy doesn't won't freeze on me so I can shove. Party till I die. When I hit diamond, we celebrate. Let's go, dude. You could hit that in your sleep. I've seen you back in the day. The vein master. All right, boys. Now more reminder. And I actually have to reevaluate this because hold on. We have one shield, two shield, probably going lock at three shield. Uh, this guy's not even fed. So I'll just go more reminder. Anti healing is going to be really sick here into those two. Oh. 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 
little baby. I don't even know who's who at this point. Who's poo poo? I think Alawi went back. It's also it's Ari. What? This is pandemonium, dude. This is one of those games where it's like Jesus, like enemy team. Please make a make a play or two. Sheesh. Oop. You better run. You better not run. You better not hide. You better poop in my mouth. I'm telling you why. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> he poops in you when you're sleeping. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. No. Oh shit. Oh no. No 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 no. All right, guys, I'm going to greed. I'm going to stay until I have 1700 gold. I feel bad because I'm supposed to be going full try hard here, but it's hard when games go like this for me to focus, you know? Ooh, do I go for this? Nah. I'll walk this towards mid lane here. Drop you there. Daddy, please. I don't want to get it stolen. I don't think it will because the dragon is up. Please, one more eyeball. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Look at me just chopping away at this thing. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? You little rat. Get him. He slowed. Ah! Kill them all. And again. Let's go. Pa 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 and rift <laughs> dude this is the most unbelievable stomp ever jesus keep it going boys keep it going frick you oh shit Oh no, not the Jin Ultimate. Let's see if he got this. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel bad, dude. Oh, I feel bad, man. The enemy team's kind of trolling. All right, now. The only time you see me do what I'm doing right now, guys, by the way, is you only want to do this move if the creep wave is not pushing into you because essentially. All right, relax. You're going to you're going to go into a creep wave situation and like, like like after i recall i go top i'm gonna go where the minions are going away from me and i'm just losing farm so if i do this now it'll bounce back into me see big brain big brain all right what do i want to do for fun this game kids don't try this at home uh let me think one shield two shield three shield i could i could just go serpent's fang as well and just Merc on these fools. Uh, let's go mid. Where do you book coaching? Down in the link below or in the description box of every single YouTube video for the foreseeable future. Okay, so I'll probably just go Serpent's Fang because Infinity Edge sounds fun, but I don't want to troll and then they come back and win. So anytime I go Infinity Edge on Garen, I find that. Uh, if I don't have Gale Force, it's like really hard to make it work. Just going Triforce with a Infinity, Infinity Edge sucks. So I'll just go Serp Fang. That's one shield, two shield, three shields down, and then also four and five shields from the locket. So it's big brain. It's definitely big brain. Okay, I guess we're just gonna split. Because again, my teammates can throw all day.
They might actually die here. Yeah, look at that. See? Now we can Baron because we have double inhibs and it's just free. So we'll probably just run straight there after I clear this bad boy. Not going to take golems right now. Shit. It's a ward here I can't get. Oh. Damn. A free pick here probably you know you're fed when you can just auto attack people to death <laughs> that's funny okay let me run straight over here let me go straight to dragon. Uh, I can make it in time. Okay, we're doing good. Dylan, you know what I'm singing? Dude, every time I'm on TikTok or well, I don't I don't use TikTok, but like Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, it's the only thing I see. With my poop up high, poop my butt, poop your mama. Oh no! I know, please. Oh shit! I didn't mean to. Oh, I panicked there so hard. Oh my god! I was like, oh my god, they're going for me, boy. They're going for my crack ass. Pa, 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 party till I die with my poop up high. Instagram shorts. Fire. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, boys. That was in the bag. So the lesson against Alawi here is I guess if we go against one with Ignite, we really got to be careful. I mean, we definitely win when if she doesn't land the E. So not bad. Not bad. All right, fellas, we are going against a Fiora. So we're going Conqueror and we got Flash Ignite. She doesn't have Ignite, so I actually have a lot of kill pressure on her. Just got to really make sure I'm like constantly trading her auto Q, auto Q every time she walks up for a minion or even a vital. If I can at least Q her when she vitals, we should walk away at least even with the trade. Maybe we'll win the trade if we get the auto off. One death equals one twerk. Okay, gotcha. You pervert. Small leash. Never give a big leash, boys, because you got to be right in this person's face the millisecond that they're here. Because look. She's already autoing. Imagine if I took any longer. How crazy would that be? You little rat. Of course you get that nice vital spawn. Kind of want to reset this. Actually, screw that. It's fine. You see what I'm saying? If you get the auto queue off, we're fine. Whoa. Dude, I'm so I'm that slow. Oh my God. Okay, this guy is not a good Fiora player, but he is going to hit too soon. Oh, back, back, back. All right, unfortunate wave situation, but he does have Riposte, so watch this. I'm not going to auto Q. I actually could just kill him right now if I can hit freaking two, but the gods are not being good to me today. The gods are being ruthless on my booty. Too many minions here. There we go. Okay. Alrighty then. 
All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was kind of insane. You're kind of nuts, homie. I think I have that health potion, huh? The good news here is this guy has no idea how to play Fiora, so we can take advantage of that. Big time, boys. I'll, I'll dive him here. If I can. Okay. Or he'll just... I don't know what's going on with this guy, man. He is tilting. Uh, I'm going to go back. It's way too early to go for plates. Remember, pre-five minutes, we don't touch plates. Because, again, takes 50% reduced damage here. All right. Um, I think I'll probably just go full Zerkers here. I like Zerkers here a lot. I like this. I like this. I plan on trading this guy a lot. And Fiora has quite a bit of sustain. So I, I don't mind buying this. Also, I am going to go for a stride breaker so i have a theory guys i have a theory i think that triforce has been nerfed i think like two patches two patches now not back to back but just two patches in a row essentially right and every time i build it dude i feel so goddamn weak into a lot of matchups especially when they're like able to move around this quickly so i think what i'm gonna do into most matchups depend again depends on who it is i'm gonna go stride breaker only if they're like super mobile Otherwise, I, th I think Triforce is still good. Please don't AFK. Please, God, don't AFK. Please don't AFK. Please, no AFK. No! Oh, my God. Come on. Why do people do that shit? Angel, hey, what's up, man? Fuck. Fuck. All right, well, I guess this is a good time to show you guys how to win when you have an AFK. So Fiora is not going to AFK the rest of the game. She's just pissed off for like a minute or two, right? We'll give her like five minutes to breathe. But what you need to do is you need to take the tower plates as quickly as you can. Because remember, we can still lose this game very easily. The game is not over until the Nexus, the Nexus explodes, guys. Remember that. That's the truest shit you'll ever hear. Oh, God. Am I this week? Holy fuck. Hey guys, it's the first game of the day. Okay. Don't just don't give me shit chat. All right. Oh, all right. Whoa. All right. Did I mention I bought a new computer? <laughs> it's coming very soon. Yo, for anyone, anyone that gives a shit about computers, guys, get this. I ordered a 3080 Ti. My current GPU, guess what it is? Chat, go ahead. I'll give you like five seconds to guess. Guess. Current GPU, what is it? Oh, okay. Ow. Why am I missing every last hit? See what, yeah, see what you guys got. Go ahead. It could be a lot worse than some of the things you guys are guessing. It is a drum roll, please. GTX 1080. And we're going to go to a 3080 Ti. I was going to get the 3090, but everyone convinced me not to spend the additional thousand dollars or so on it. Because, I mean, what the fuck am I going to use that thing for? You know, we're not editing video. We're not doing crazy shit like that. So, I'm going to have a freaking beast. Beast of a PC, dude. I'm so I'm going to you guys are next time you guys watch a YouTube video of mine, just watch. Watch the FPS. Right now we barely get 144. Like it drops constantly, right? I'm going to be at 10,000 FPS every game. I can't wait. I can't wait. Dodge if Garen is banned now. Nah, we picked up a couple other champs. Anyway, fellas, look what I'm doing here. So, I'm not going to take this tower yet. I'm actually going to go back. And I'm still going to go for a stride breaker because their team is quite obnoxious. Why am I not taking it? Because I'd prefer to get some items here. Okay, let's grab this. Um, eh, whatever. All right, so now, now check this out. Here is the difference. 
So what my job to, is to do... No, no, and I want you to imagine that the Fiora is like 0 and 5, 0 and 6. Same thing. She might as well be AFK. Your job is to take the Rift Herald and top lane and run it down the rest of the lanes as fast as you can. Or what the Chinese Super Server guy does is he keeps running it down if and only if he's able to 1v1 or even 1v2, which we should be able to do. Only thing that sucks is I feel kind of weak on Garen at the moment, but maybe that'll change. I can basically just end the game. So I'll probably just run it down top lane because Fiora's AFK. I feel bad that this is a part of the the movie here, but you know, I think this is useful information because I think a lot of you guys will be in this situation and you won't, you don't know how to quickly close out a game. You don't, you know, most of you guys don't know, right? So I'm going to teach you guys. Yeah, it's all on the hips, boys. Oh my God. Uh, not worth it. It's whatever. So we have the vision down, right? Okay, this would be the same process. If if this Fiora was like 0 and 4, I would do the same thing here. Bait out all this stuff. Nice. I didn't think he'd be that tanky, to be honest with you. But now we want to break these guys' will to play the game. We want to make them all AFK. And by tower diving them and doing things like this, being unbelievably aggressive, they're going to AFK. I can guarantee it. See what I did there? In some LCK games, they go hole breaker first item. I could see that. I mean, that's a pr like hole breaker is in terms of like 1v1. It's like the best item in the game other than death dance. It's incredible. Okay. All right, now, now that we have this, wait, did we have Rift? Okay. All right, well, that works. We just made Fiorgo AFK in two seconds. Okay. Nice. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm talking shit to this guy. Hold on. Wukong, you banned my set. Now you shall pay, nerd. Doesn't Wukong kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I was just I, he I was gonna play set and he banned my set and I just was trolling but anyway um I guess we'll find out I don't think you counter me but you know what we're gonna we're gonna find out today um this is definitely a, a trinity false team should be able to clap some absolute butt cheeks this game Dude, I kind of want to try Divine Sunderer. Everyone in high elo is, is building Divine Sunderer right now, and it's kind of blowing my mind. But guys, standard rune page against Wukong, bone plating, double adaptive armor. Um, the trick with Wukong is every single time he E's us, we need to go for a big fat trade. But you don't want to all in, because if he just sits there and autos us, he's going to kill us. So watch this. We just chill. Start E. Any matchup that you can actually get a nice prolonged trade into, like you don't do this against Riven, you don't do this against Set. I can do this against this guy because he doesn't have Ignite. And that's the difference, my ladies. Look at this. We fight with bone plating and we win. See? Every time. Even if he fights us and ease us and all ends, we still win that trade. Okay. Again, if he walks up for a minion, I have to punish him. Nothing crazy here. We don't touch the wave. Nice. Okay. I'm going to try and dive him potentially. If he doesn't heal here. Right. If Karthus comes, I'll just kill both of them. Shit. That was my mistake. I mean, we're doing pretty good so far. I probably will end up recalling, but we'll see. 
Notice how slowly I'm last hitting to be able to pull this off. Oh, what a mistake. I just don't know what their game plan was there. I just want to know. So free. Watch this. I'm going to dive him. This is my confidence level, boys. Why didn't he W? Wukong counters me, huh? I don't want to talk shit. I don't want to talk shit. I, I want to, but I'm not, I'm not going to. Trust me, I want to. Okay. I love it when people when people gank me in that situation dude and as long as you like mate you commit you hard send it like i shouldn't have ignited the the wukong because he didn't jump on me so next time the plan should be flash on that karthus and just kill him just keep fighting keep fighting you guys are fine buddy you're gonna oh my god wukong or he should have just kept fighting he would have been fine yeah i'm not gonna drop a word because he just died but i will get in this guy's face and fight him Remember, anytime he jumps on me, I just have to W and spin. And you see where he's at while you're spinning on him when he um, tries to go invis. I'm just stopping him from farming while this is pushing into me. There's nothing he can do. Look at that. See? And imagine if I used my W there. That would have been huge. Let's start trimming here. And if he jumps on me, he just dies, right? There's nothing up. Oh, okay, now he's six. Now I die. Now we have to respect him because I don't have ignite. I mean, he only has a long sword, so it's not that big of a deal. But oh, play, boys! Oh, nice fucking gank. Oh, played. I didn't even think about that. Okay, let's get a cloth armor. That was a really sick gank by them. That was sick. Damn. Well played. Damn, well played. All right. That's my fault. 100% tunneled on killing this guy. Huge mistake. Okay. It sucks that I didn't walk away with the kill there, too. Definitely shitty. Could be worse. Oh, Wukong got the bounty. Oh, it couldn't be worse. Never mind. It couldn't be worse. Damn. Kill. All right. I'm happy. If Ari's fed, I am so happy. Ari's so strong. Especially if he's any good. You got that. Nocturne's trolling. Okay. He just has a call field. So I still have stats on him all day. I got the cloth armor. He dies here. Okay. Baited him with the cannon. He's fuming. He is so triggered right now. It is unbelievable. He's so triggered right now. It's unbelievable. I can't even describe to you how triggered he is. Okay. 
Um, I think we probably just go Sheen here. I can really make use of this. See, this is why I never freak out, by the way, about when that Nocturne ganked me, I lost all that farm and that was really bad, right? But I mean, when someone ganks top lane, it's not really helping them out in any way, shape or form unless they take the Rift Herald and they get a shitload of plates or even if they take the top tower, that's when it's really, really rough. I need to go help him. He's going to get jumped on. Okay. And again, we freeze this, boys. We freeze. Okay, we just keep chilling. Just let the wave let the wave freeze. We're in a really sick spot right now, guys. We just stand parallel to our top minion here. If he wants to fight. Shit, we're fine, we're fine. Don't have the damage like I thought I did there. Also, gigantic wave. Doesn't help anything. My bad. Thought I had way more damage there. Why is he so tanky? Oh, it's the freaking health. Okay, so he's actually just going B. He has no ult, so he can't kill me even if he jumps on me. Basically, I, I beat Wukong so hard just because um, my W just counters him completely. This is kind of greedy. I feel so bad for this guy. Okay, it's fine. I'll go back. Wow, this is a really good game, boys. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna BM just one time, I guys. I have to BM. Wukong. Wuk. Wukong counters Garen. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. <laughs> I feel bad, honestly, but whatever. Uh, he's just dead. I can kill this guy. have a brain <laughs> brain diff that's so funny i was just playing around in the beginning but he took it a little too far man all right um i don't think i beat him in a fight right now so i'm just gonna chill oh i'm actually level nine it's just the thing with wukong is he stacks up all that armor and cleaves your armor. So even though I have a cloth and I have items on him, it doesn't matter. It's tired of him now. He's going to TP back. That's fine. I'll go try and get something done here. There we go. Come on, fight me, fight me. Probably dead. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, fuck. I didn't need to die there, but I was trying to deny him that whole wave. It would have been worth it if I ran away sooner. I should have just dipped. That was my bad. I tried to drag it on as long as I can, but the second he committed to this fight, I should have just dipped and not tried fighting. That was the mistake. Because we just denied him a huge wave. That was a really bad decision on his part. Damn, I should not have given them 300 Gs. Mm. 
I mean, it's only one shield on their team. I really like Storm Razor here. Karthus is getting strong. I'm going to go Storm Razor. I need to end top lane quickly. We're gonna have multiple global so i can't split push too hard this game we're gonna have nocturne alt and this ult inside of me at all times i like storm razor a lot I got shut down he does so much damage holy shit i like storm razor here but then i think i need to go for a kind of like force of nature into him or death dance i don't know gore drinker what the fuck I need to do this. Now, nah, fuck that. I'm going to go with my instincts here. Ariane bot lane should swap lanes. He's Divine Thunder. Try and take this if I can. And pull it down towards mid lane. I'm gonna ignore this third dragon and try to make a fat play with Rift Herald top lane. Let's give it a couple seconds here. Whoa, I just crit and killed that thing. Oh my god. I think Wukong's down there. And pussy team. getting some shit done boys <sighs> I 
I want force of nature here. I like this. So now I don't want to, I don't really want to go for that inhib until 20 minutes. I want to just group. All right, rotate mid, rotate mid, rotate mid, rotate mid. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Stupid motherfucker. So please group. Shove lane and group mid. Dude. Oh, I ulted the wrong person. Ah, fuck my ass. Damn it. Fuck, I should have gone death dance, dude. I speak for him or what? Jesus. I'll go force of nature right now. Should make me completely immune to Karthus and give me more speed to help chase these guys down. And then I'll go I'll go death dance. And I really, really like this setup. I don't know why that fight freaked out and I focused the Wukong so hard. I should have just killed uh, one of those two. They can actually Baron if we go for this dragon, but it's not worth it for them to Baron. fights for rest of game just need to kite them out or get picks together with not ignore blitz and wukong focus everyone else okay 
Love, love, love this. If I get Death Dance, I should be pretty impossible to kill. Um, Oops. For fuck's sake. Stupid as fuck, I guess. I don't know. Uh, super tank, super tank. Um, motor reminder would probably be the best thing for us. Kind of annoying that they chase the fucking Zeri. I have a feeling he's going to come this way. Go backwards. Did he go over the wall? I don't think you can W over a wall though. Stupid. This guy's build is so, uh, Nocturne's build is so hard to deal with. A good thing their whole team is right there and he doesn't have a Zonia, so. Can end. Omega wall. I think that's the game. Oh my god, I couldn't get it. All right, nice. All right, now that I have Death Dance, at this point, we got to think about what is the issue again here. Um, I don't really know. I think I would rather just get Sterax to stay alive longer, to be honest with you. 
because like i don't need i really don't need any damage i mean like look this is the biggest threat on their team is this guy and as long as i can one shot him the game's over as you've seen every single fight that i've killed karthus uh it's just what are they what the hell are they gonna do the zeri isn't good enough to to carry also Again, that force of nature allows me to stack up super hard because Karthus is all inning me, so I get fully stacked with the movement speed as well. Why do you stop fighting? Don't stop autoing because you have a ton of healing when you fight. Just send it, baby. Good try, good try. Good attempt. Nice. This build is like disgusting, man. I'm gonna kill with Karthus. Is this guy really trying to do this right now? The desperation. I don't blame him, honestly. Watch this. Ah. Uh, Alright, trash. Ah. Uh. Yeah, what you doing? You stupid motherfucker. Fuck. Yes! Let's go, baby! That was an awkward as shit game. All right, fellas, we're going the build that I absolutely hate going, but it's, I can't deny that it is insanely good. It's insanely, insanely, insanely good. Uh, Flash Ghost, Phase Rush, it's nuts. It I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's, it really is good. I promise you. shoving into me i'm surprised he's not spinning on me he doesn't have ignite though so that makes me less scared to fight him why is he so passive
Why is he? Okay, so I guess this is good. I mean, I, I, I can't kill him ever, but if he's going to let me just play the game, I'm down. So the reason why you take phase rush into Trinomir, guys, is you're going to auto Q spin or Q spin spike whip, and you will be able to get a whole lot of shit done. Beautiful. All good. I'm wanting him to push into me, but it's not working out. He's uh, just a very passive Trin player. It's the most passive Trin player I think I've ever seen in my life. Come on, spin on me, baby. Look at how... Why is he so scared? I just don't get why he's this passive. He just like, I don't know. He could just easily just all in me and kill me, but my guy is acting trippy right now. Uh, so definitely going to get ganked right now. Olaf is top. So that's pretty much all you're trying to do. Oh, so he's bot lane. He path top to bot. Every time I'll just auto Q spin, especially when you have bone plating up, you're nice and safe. I'm really just standing up here because I know he won't actually kill me. He's just so unbelievably passive. I'm just going to take advantage of him at this point. Yeah, I think he's new to Trin. So we can probably just take advantage of him and just keep fighting him in creep waves. We'll kill him eventually. But when you normally play against Trin, you can't do this because they'll just kill you. Oh, I missed. My Hecarim is so good. Holy shit. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. If you ever get a start like this and you're playing Phase Rush Flash Ghost, the game is over, okay? So remember this. I want you to focus on getting Stride Breaker first. I find that I do this thing where I go Spike Whip and then I go Zerker Greaves, but I just don't have the damage I want. So I think no matter what, you should focus on getting that Mythic item first. It's fine getting Zerker Greaves if... Um, you're running conquer but i just noticed when i have phase rush and i get zerker griefs too early i really don't have any damage so it's better to just capitalize on getting this as quickly as you can beautiful dive by this guy all right now we let the wave push into us um i'm gonna drop this sword so i can play a little farther up here still have ghost now again look when you go against a good trend this guy would never let me do what i'm doing right now he would never in a million years let me do this But I can just do that and walk away. So, like, I'm not that scared of this guy, you know. Oh, I, I'm stupid. I have Spike Whip. So, next time, I'll just, uh, I'll just, like, auto spin and we're chilling. Auto spin, Spike Whip. Now, remember, Spike Whip stops you from moving. Stride Breaker doesn't. So, just remember that. Preferably, you know, maybe, like, Q, Spike, auto Q, spin. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's awkward. Oh shit, I missed a ton of this. Oh, I thought I had the uh, timing right for that. That's okay. Okay. So we can start messing around with them now. I can start poking them, get some good auto cues off. Basically, what you want to do is you got to really be disciplined with fighting in your wave here. Oh shit. You just hit six? Oh. Well, 
Well, that's awkward. Well, I feel kind of like an idiot. What are you doing? Okay. Damn. He just hit. He, I think he hit six on that wave. Unless I just. Wait, was he six the whole time? Because he just hit seven. Maybe I just thought he was five. Wow, I'm dumb. All right. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. Oh, well. That's kind of stupid. That's kind of funny, though. All right. Jungler is my jungler is kind of insane. I just think they should change spike. Why, why would spike whip make you stop moving? Doesn't make any sense. All right, that's cool. I don't mind, baby. I don't mind. Go for auto cues here. See, he can't get to me. That's what you're wanting to do every time. Preferably a little bit longer of a spin. I got a creep wave here. Damn. Nice. I am getting my lane camped so hard. I love it. Wow. Shout out to this guy, man. Jesus. It's so rare that I get my jungler to gank like this. It's crazy. Or even tower dive, especially in this elo. Never. Ever, man. Damn, I'm so close to having... um this can i take these oh of course they're not there no i don't have enough gold i need a little bit more gold shit man well he has no flash or r i can probably kill him here if he walks up Interesting. I'm dead now. Uh, did he take no damage? How in God's name did he take no damage? Healing maybe. All right. I guess that was, I guess, you know what? If I had conquer, that's the easiest kill of my life, right? That's the difference making like making. So here's the thing. If you're going to go for solo kills like that, guys, I think let's all just do ourselves a favor and wait until we have stride breaker. So we should have never gone for that. I think we all just learned something huge today. Let's remember that. Cause remember if we have conqueror and Zerker Greaves there, that guy dies 1000% of the time right there. Like, so like so easily, but I just don't do any damage without this, you know? So fortunately I had to waste everything on this guy, but it's okay. Look at, do you see how much damage I do now? You see the difference? Okay, I'm just gonna hard shove. Actually, no, I don't wanna hard shove. Still kind of scared of the train. I mean, I can run away from him really easily, but. Who the hell is TPing? I'm seeing if Trin is walking down, so I'm, I'm slow pushing to see if he moves. I think he's going to. I can't tell. Oh, I guess not. 
we slow push, we can fight him with this wave and it'll make it really, really safe for us. And I can just run away if I need to. Okay, that's sad. God, I have no attack speed. Holy shit, my teammates. That's like, if Trin doesn't get there and help, he's screwed. There he is. He's top. He's trolling. You top landers, if you don't help your teammates, you're going to lose. If Trin is there, I bet you money he could just clean everyone up. But again, I don't think this guy plays Trin at all. You could tell. I mean, we are playing in at least Platinum right now. So, like, these guys should know. At least, like, Platinum players are pretty good mechanically, actually. Their game sense is what holds them back from getting Diamond. But they're pretty good. Let's make sure there's nothing here. I'll push another wave. Shit. Now I just run away. You see? You see, fellas? There's nothing that Trindamir players can do to you if you run this playstyle. And this is why you have to run this into Trind. Especially if you ever go against like a good Trindamir player that won't let you play the game. It's just like Conqueror is just not going to do anything for you. I don't mind if he recalls. And if you also notice, like, look at, look at the Olaf situation, right? Look at the Ash slow situation. Look at the Velkaz slow. Look how many slows they have. Okay. Now we're going to go Mortal Reminder. Now there, you don't have to go Mortal Reminder here, but just remember who we're going against. Two very, very hard, hard healing people. Hard, hard, hard healing people. There's only one shield on their team, so Serpent's Fang is out of the question. Storm Razor, unnecessary because I have Stride Breaker. So Mortal Reminder is really good here. That was weird. I can't believe how hard of a stomp this is. This is unbelievable. This never happens. Usually it's the other way around and that's, that's always the painful thing to deal with. No red buff, no chickens. Okay. Thank you. Don't care about you. You got that, right? I'll go take these. Yeah, I guess at this point we just need to group with our teammates here. Oh, I thought I had R. Okay, that works. I thought I had R. Oh my God, I'm like really dropping the ball this game, boys. I'm like seriously dropping the ball this game. I'm trolling. Mortal reminder. Um, I'm say force of nature would be fantastic into their team. Five man mid with Rift, we can just dive them. All right, now when you're this far ahead, you guys have to understand the split pushing has to stop. We have to stop going top. We have to stop doing this if we can, because if we group as five, look how fed we are. What are they, how, how, in what world are they gonna be able to defend? In what world? There's no universe that these squishy little poo poos are gonna be able to defend. Now, if they had like Orns and Brahms and Leonas and shit, then it'd be a different story, you know? but they are too damn weak to stop us. Teammates should be grouping up here, but so if this happens, if your teammates don't group, then that's fine. Then just go, you know, go back to your, your lane, right? That's fine. So I'm going to push this out again. I'm going to go group. God, our team is so fed. Jesus. When's the last time you guys ever saw an 8 and 0 Vigar? Wow. That's incredible. 
And again, you see what Trinomir, Trinomir being up here is really bad. He should be with his team. He should quickly shove and then go hard group with his team and just try and see if he can one shot one of those guys. If he can take those two guys out, they actually have a chance of winning fights. Well, not winning fights, but like not losing, you know, making it to the later portion of the game. Thank God I crit right there. All right, we'll just take this. Like I said, this build is amazing. If you can figure out lane phase with this and not int, it's great. I know you saw that. I know you saw that, boys. I know you saw... Oh, shit. I'm dead. I know you guys saw that maneuver. That little stride break slow, so he wasn't in um, auto attack range. He's definitely sitting in that brush. Watch this. Ah, I told you. Okay, I'll just take this. We'll grab Mortal. He almost got me. Like I said, Trin is still strong even when he's behind. And that's the thing you got to watch out for, especially if he builds correctly. Okay, let's go mid. Oops. Now we just push through here. Nothing on the map. Doesn't matter if we get aced here. This is the beauty. Like, this is why you have to make this play. It's an, it's one minute until anything, right? So even if we get aced here, they can't take... There's nothing for them to do besides get some gold. So it's worth at least trying. So now we reset. In a safe spot, hopefully. It's right here. Mortar reminder, I'm thinking probably dead man's plate, but I like force of nature a lot because of the stacking speed. Uh, whatever. Dead man's plate's okay. You're probably wondering why I didn't get armor. Um, I don't feel like I need it right now. Like, I think chain vest is probably better here, but right now I just really want some more movement speed and mobility just because I want to just get places faster, you know? Okay. Ooh, is my Shake Shack here? Ooh! I'm about to grub, boys. I'm about to... All right, so we should be going bot lane here. Shoving out, pressuring a side lane. Start opening up the base. Come here. Come here. Come here. And that, my friends, is the power of Phase Rush Ghost. Good luck getting away from me. <laughs> such a such a amazing, amazing way to play Garen when you don't need Conqueror. Like I said, this is not my preferred playstyle, but in a game like this, you have no choice. If I try and play Conqueror and like Triforce, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. No trend. Wow. What a freaking stomp. Oh, I feel bad for so I feel so bad for them. Oh, uh, if their jungler wasn't like a troll, dude. Oh man. They probably could have had like a chance. Well, actually, you know what? Their whole team inted though. I hate when people say report and they all inted. All right, GG boys, sign up for coaching today. All right, fellas, this is the final game of this video. So we're gonna try and clap some cheeks to close it out and we'll see what happens. Hey, my boy, make sure the 300 biddies, baby. Ooh, we're, this is kind of interesting. You ever play Overwatch? 
Uh, I never played Overwatch. I played Team Fortress 2, though, which was fun. Um, what What is this? What is this? Shit. Maybe get a flash here. Oh. Okay, that's fine. You used your health potion. Oh, man. Sorry, I can't leash daddy. Trust me, this was the right choice. So we're going to get in this guy's face. We're not going to let him farm. He went E, so he's probably just going to kill the first. Did you really just auto attack me? You're crazy. Oh. All right, that works, I guess. He's kind of insane for not... I don't know what he's doing. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. All right, let's grab this and a cloth armor and we should be golden, baby. All right, and back to lane we go. What did I just watch? I don't know. No idea. I didn't really think uh, when someone plays like that, I don't understand. Like, why are you letting yourself be that low of HP? It's so strange. <laughs> hey, nice daddy. Good job. Good job, daddy. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. You and your crack ass. Um, now the question here, is this a a poo poo a poo poo salad finger game? Stride breaker into these three might be nice. Yeah, it might be nice. You three know with Garen. Let's go, baby. Oh God, yeah. Oh, he just queued a minion. You're so bad. That's kind of funny, actually. So that's what we gotta watch out for. Oh shit. Gotta watch out for, uh, if you ever fight Aurelia and you use your E100W, you just, you lose. She absorbs the whole thing. Look at that. They call me the last hitting God. Look at that. Boom. Boom. I don't miss. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. I'm pissed. All right. Now he might be, okay. Look, we just kill him here. God damn it, fuck this guy. I don't want him getting XP here if possible. I can tower dive him probably. Damn. A little too ham there. I like hesitated under the tower and then he was moving so fast. And I was like, uh, whatever.
It's okay. Got the Bramble. I didn't want to get Bramble. I wanted to get like a Sheen or something for some good trades, but it's okay. Good news is he has no Ignite now, so I should be able to get six before him because he didn't shove. And that should be good enough. I need to fight him with this wave and kill him with it. I don't think he'll be dumb enough to do that after we killed him the first time. And of course you hit six. You're disgusting. Well, thank God I got the Bramble, I guess. I can still kill him in this wave. I just can't believe I'm not even six. Like, what is this world we live in? God damn it. Fuck this guy. All right, I should not have given him that that kill. This because this this game would be over. It would be so over if I didn't give him that kill. Damn, because he wouldn't even have a van. I mean, he literally would probably have like a long sword right now. It'd be it'd be GG. But now straight up in a fight, he beats me, hundred percent. Guess I could go back and just grab like a long sword. I don't think he's actually gonna push. This is fine. Should have backed way sooner. Yeah, I trolled and gave him a level advantage. That's the issue we're facing now. This is why you gotta be careful. When you go for these plays, it's like you better make damn sure you're gonna be aggressive and not hesitate. We hesitated right there and we, we paid for it now. So God, he's got a he's so far ahead of me at this point. Oh my gosh. so far ahead of me. The good news is my team is dominating, so I don't really even need to like fight this guy anymore. So if you want the secret to beating Irelia, don't mess up. Do not mess up ever. Literally never mess up. <laughs> you mess up once you're screwed. Can't get a plate as much as I want it. Hopefully he kills these things quickly. All right, I got the plate. Wow, that worked out. Okay. <laughs> um, do I still want Stride Breaker? Probably. I think so. Being able to slow slow them down is probably what I need. We're in a good spot. I think this game is going to be all about one shotting these two. Come on. All right, we got a shitload of AD now. I think at this point I can 1v1 him if I dodge the E. I think that's what I need to do. So she doesn't get the reset on Q. Ooh. Ooh, Janna. You got moves? Janna. You're so bad. It's hard to watch. Oh, God. All right. Leave it to Jessica. Do we get the freeze off here? Oh. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Look at me freezing on fools, you heard? Oh, I'm a little concerned. Where the hell is this wave at? Oh. Hey, I'll tell you what. If she gets Bork, holy shit, I'm screwed. Please don't have enough money for Bork. Dude, holy shit. This guy's a smurf. Jessica Smurfin. This guy has like no mana. What the hell did he do? Oh, I fucking missed. 
Oh, I... Oh, I goofed. <sighs> Damn it, dude. I keep making such like little micro mistakes. Damn, I didn't even mean to do any of that. Oh, that sucks. Like I said, look, if I didn't do that right there, this game would be, it, it would just be so, it, she'd be so fucked. That one little throw. What a ballsy recall. All right. If you're ever in this situation where you can't 1v1 your opponent, just completely stop. Like we can't ever feed her again. And what we need to do, she's their whole team now, right? So when we get into fights, I'm going to ignore everyone else. And I'm going to make sure I ignite her and ult her. Because she can. She has the power to like ace my whole team basically, right? So that's all that matters. I focus on kicking the shit out of her at this point. Hopefully she's she's actually pretty good at top lane. She understands uh how to slow push and not like leave top lane, so that's really really good by her. Oh shit, I'm dead. What the fuck is that auto attack range? Are you fucking joking? Oh my god, that's through Bramble too. Oh my god. Oh, where did I throw? Why? Oh my god, why did I throw him so bad? Oh my god. Fuck you. All right, I got to do this now. We got to go into defense mode, boys. Damn, I was... Oh, this guy's... Oh! How do I lose to this noob that we kill level one without even trying? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so sad. That's so embarrassing. Damn. I did you guys dirty on the last fucking game. But, I mean, I guess every game before this, we pretty much clapped cheeks, so... At least I can show you guys how to play from behind now. So, look, when you fall behind... Oh, fucking Jesus, you're so annoying, kid. You're so cringe, it like hurts. I can't even get, oh my God, you're such a pussy, dude. I die one time and this happens. Oh, how fucked up is that, man? Fucking so stupid. got to build defensively at this point that's irelia for you though man if, if she gets going you are fucked you are screwed there's not much uh at, at this point the rest of the game i'll never be able to beat her in a 1v1 ever the way you beat irelia as garen is you get ahead of her and you stay ahead and that's that's the only thing you can do It's, it's incredible to me that she can do that through Bramble and Steel Caps. It's unbelievable. But that's that's that champion, you know? Like I said, do not make mistakes into her. But you could do as well as if you're not confident into this matchup. You can take Phase Rush, and then you can just run through her wall, and she can't do anything. Oh, my fucking God. These kids are cringe. Dude, how many goddamn times? Okay, at this point... Their enemy team is going to lose. They're wasting everything on me. Yeah. Nice job. Keep coming, dipshits. Oh, I was a fucking tilted. I hate that, dude. I hate that. Because if you were, if we were in Challenger right now, we're in the highest elo these guys wouldn't be camping there they wouldn't like not camping me but they wouldn't be three man ganking me there you know what i'm saying it's so frustrating holy shit all right we're gonna slow push 
Got a minute and four dragon comes. I'm trying to build up a huge wave here so I can show up the dragon. At this point, I'm just going to try and be like a, um, a peel. I'm going to, I'm going to literally just going to peel for Vex. There's nothing else I can do this game because I threw too hard. Oh, the way I, the ways that I died too were just like, I literally just let her kill me twice. Oh, fuck my head. Sorry, whatever. So cringe. Oh my god. I can't even be in the same building as her, dude. <laughs> god, if we didn't have, I'll tell you this, if we didn't have this Vex on our team, oh, I'd be so over, dude, because I rally it with just one versus nine us. Thank god for this guy. He's getting the fattest honor. He, she, whatever. Getting the crate, the most honor I could possibly give someone. Oh my god, I'm so weak. <laughs> Makes me want to run phase rush into her just so she can't ever chase me down. Definitely worth a shot. I just love being able to solo kill pre six. I, pre six, I really is so bad. Very, very easy to kill as long as she doesn't have that passive up, you know? That four stack passive though. The second she gets that, ooh. It's it's dirty, man. It's dirty. Okay, I'm gonna go this now. We're gonna go for a mortal reminder. I know we have Bramble, but um Mortal Reminder is really the only thing I, that makes sense into their team. Because their whole team is basically I mean it's really just the Irelia, but not enough shields on their team to warrant going to Serp's Fang. Mordecai. Yeah, Mordecai's are super good into Irelia. Super, super good. Okay, Irelia's bot. Nice. I feel terrified for those two down there. Oh my god. One and six, eh? I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. I feel the same way. I feel the same way, city boy. Oh, man. Too many slows. Damn, too much CC. Does she have Targons? What the hell? I'm a little nervous for this Jinx. I mean, not much for me to do. Jinx should not be in a side lane. But at least I get free farm mid lane here. All right, we're starting to catch back up to Irelia. This is good. This is what it's all about. It's coming back into the game by making sure we stop the inting. Beautiful. Take these, maybe. Oh, damn it. I'll go top lane and catch this. Dude, this Vex is really good. Really, really good. I'm surprised that she went uh, Shadow Flame when there's only... There's only one shield on their team. Maybe she like values the Diana being strong or something. Okay. So I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to assume Irelia is here. Uh, as long as we stay away from the minions, I should be fine. I'm going to keep pushing because I think uh, Irelia is going to go down there and slay my team probably. Try and deny a little bit of farm here. Oh shit. That Irelia could clap some cheeks. Oh. God damn it. Okay, Irelia's coming. Let's just get out. 2150. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, this fool's dead. Oh, nice flash. Saw might be worded. Can't jump over the wall. That uh, was not worth the ult. That was not worth the ult. It's super important when you play Garen to not ever ult like that because now a minute 15, I can't ult. And I just used an ult on a guy that is literally, what, three and eight, two and eight? Yeah, that's what you don't want. You do not want that, my, my boys, my city boys. All right, I'm happy. Look, we almost have perfect farm. Got our asses kicked top lane, sadly, but we have more to reminder. And then I will probably end up going a death dance into their team as well. It's going to make it a lot harder for that Vigar to ever get an execute off on me. So let's do this and let's go death dance. I just want to be able to never die to this Irelia again. If I, here's the thing, if I jump all on the Irelia, She's going to die as long as I have some backup. And then same thing with Diana. It's all at this point. Just literally make yourself survive. So you can, you can silence people. You can true damage. You can ignite. You can do really useful things. Oh shit. Look at that. And that's how to get carried. <laughs> all right, boys. Make sure you guys check out the coaching down below. Thanks for watching. Peace.